Hi everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a little gift card see-through ornament thing. And it is designed for those things that you renew every year for your recipient. Things like Spotify Premium or Apple Music. I am all about reminding your, in my case, offspring that, hey, mom's still paying for this. So let's turn it into a gift, shall we? All right. Here are the supplies that I'll be using today. Now, I've got this very cool ornament die set from Hero Arts, and I'm going to use the ginormous circular ornament and one of the little doohickeys that hold on the, the, you know, I don't know what they're called. I've got three different sizes of circle dies, but you could also hand cut these or use a two-inch punch as well, and you'll see how I use that. Got some basic adhesives got a little bit of ribbon. This is by Gina K. Just a pretty, pretty sheer ribbon. I've got a little scrap of gold cardstock and two pieces, well it's just one large piece of cardstock cut in half to cut my ornaments from. So that's the basic supplies. Not a lot of stuff. And you'll also need one piece of transparency uh, film or whatever type of transparency you have because that's going to create the see-through effect. So I've got my giant ornament, put it on the platform, and I'm placing it right to the edge of that red cardstock just so that I can take the leftover and just toss it in my scrap bin. I do not throw these pieces away, people. I save my scraps, so that's a lot of leftover red, but now I will cut out a second ornament to have two. And I will place them together back to back, and I'm going to add just a little bit of dot adhesive to hold that down. Just press it down. You don't have to do this step, but I'm always afraid they're going to slip. Because now what I'm going to do is take my circle die, tape it down right in the center, and I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to, I'm going to cut them both at once. Now, I do recommend a metal shim uh, if you want it to cut cleanly. And even with a shim, because this cardstock that I use, it's a heavyweight. This is Gina K's Red Velvet. I like to go through a few times just to ensure that I get it cut all the way through. And you can just flip it over to see, and sure enough, ah, lovely. So now I have my holes cut out on the front and back. Next, I'm going to take a larger circle die and just quickly cut out a circle from the transparency so that I can sandwich that piece between the two ornaments. And there you go. It fits perfectly with a little bit of room to spare. And finally, I'm gonna cut out my little toppers for my ornament. I just have this little scrap of my gold cardstock. This is Simon Says Stamp glitter cardstock. I use every single inch of this stuff because I love it. It comes in these six by six, um, I have a multi-pack. It's great stuff, but I really do try to use it to the just the nth degree. And now I'll cut out a second one so that I have two of those. I'm going to be using multimedia mat to adhere these pieces together. I like this stuff because you can move it a little. It's not as critical in laying down the transparency because that's, you know, you can see that, but you don't want too much because you don't really want it to ooze out the front. But where it's nice to have this liquid adhesive is putting these two pieces together just so that once you get them together, you have a, a little bit of time to kind of line them up because now, I'm not perfect at lining things up. I don't think this project has to be exactly perfect, but yeah, it's nice when they do. So the liquid adhesive allows me to have a little bit of play time, just kind of press that down, and then I can pick it up, just move it so that I can feel it on all sides so that it is perfectly lined up, just like that. Now, I'm also gonna use the multimedia mat on the little topper. Again, just to have a little bit of time to move it. Now, I'm pressing it down, but not all the way flat because I don't want to get the glue on my mat. I'm going to quickly flip that over, and then I will add a little bit more of the adhesive onto the back, or the other, the other topper, and glue those together back to back so that you have this beautiful ornament, right? Now that the ornament has been built, it's time to add the centers. This is a layered Photoshop template that can be used in any version of Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. I don't want this to be more complicated than it needs to be. All of the circles on the left have an outline so that if you don't have a circle punch, you can just hand trim them. 
and all of the logos and text on the right is to be used with a two inch circle punch or a two inch die. I have provided Spotify logos because that is what I'm giving to my children for another year, but you can find any logo online and print it out and size it to fit inside a two inch circle. Now, I am using Photoshop Elements 18. This is the latest version that I own. And if there's anything that I need to call out for other versions, I'm gonna let you know. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click and drag over all of these right here and I'm gonna hit delete. And it's gonna say delete selected layers. And the reason I'm doing this is because I don't need those. I have the punch that I need and that you'll see why I'm doing this in a minute because I like to make lots of copies of things just so I don't mess up. I'm going to zoom in here by holding down my space bar and my command or control key right over this. I'm gonna come in a little. And I've created a little graphic. This is actually from one of my stamp sets from Simon Says Stamp. I'm including it here as a tiny little digital. And this is just one of my favorite reds in Photoshop, but you could change the color to match whatever cardstock you're using. Of course, it's always hard to get it spot on, but you can try different colors. You can come over here to the color picker where it says, well, it says set foreground color. If you click on that once, you get a color picker and you can go all the way around for different shades of red. You can go up, you can go into different there's two sliders here, a slider up and down to change the color family. Let's say you wanted to do some, you know, pretty periwinkle blue and come in like that. Click OK. With this still selected, you can go edit, fill layer. This is my favorite way to fill elements on uh, your document in Photoshop. You want to make sure you have foreground color and preserve transparency and click OK and it will change color. And you can try all kinds of different colors. You have to do test prints because you're never really getting what you see on screen. But I'm going to undo this because I like my red. Next, get the text tool, the horizontal type tool or text tool. And you're gonna just come right over this little type your holiday placeholder and click in once. And when you do, you'll get this blinking cursor and you will see Okay, I've got my circle highlighted. I designed this text circle with a free font called Open Sans, and I will include the link to download this font in the PDF handout that comes with the free package. Just so you know, when you opened this, you probably got a font message. If you don't have this, that says replace with other fonts, so it might replace it with a different font, but the fun thing is you can change the font, and that's what I like to do. I'm gonna highlight all of this by either triple clicking or you can just click and go Command key or Control key and A. And now I'm gonna come down here to where it says Open Sans Regular. This is the type control area in earlier versions of Photoshop. You'll find it at the top. I'm just gonna type in here, I'm gonna highlight over this and type the word Avenir because Avenir is one of my favorite fonts and I'm going to go just with, well, that's not the one I want. Let's go up, there we go. I'm gonna go with Avenir Light. It's a font that I use quite often. And now I am going to just go ahead, I'm gonna hold down my caps lock. I like the idea of having this in uh, all caps because it kind of creates this really solid look and feel to the type where all the letter forms are the same. And I'm going to type in here another year of Spotify premium from your loving mom. Just like that, that's it. I'm gonna hit the check mark. Now here's the thing though too, you have to kind of fit to type because if I kept typing, it will get you stop and you wanna play with that a little. So you might have to get your wording just right, but I'm gonna click, click the check mark and we're good to go. Now that I have this done in red, I'm going to zoom out, Commander Control Zero, and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this guy. Again, I'm, I just click and drag to highlight, and you should actually have here auto select a layer if that is not happening for you. You just don't need it. And you don't have to save these changes either. That's, that's the beautiful thing. I'm also gonna get rid of this. All right, I'm gonna move him up. And here's the fun part, because I never punch it right on the first time, so you can make copies of your final, your final logos. Select all, 
hold down your Alt key or your Option key. And you're gonna get this double overlapping arrow. Click, drop your finger down on your Shift key, and drag it over, just like that, and you just made a copy. I'm gonna do it again, select, hold down that Alt key on a PC or Option on a Mac to get that double overlapped black and white arrow. Click and drag, hold down your Shift key to keep it in place, and release. And now you have created copies so that you can print this out on a piece of, I'm just using a nice quality uh, copy paper from my laser printer. You can print this on your inkjet printer. But now you have several copies that are ready to go in case you don't get it lined up the first time. And that is how you can use this template. And again, you can find logos for other things and punch those out, whatever it is you're wanting to create this ornament for, for something that you can't actually tangibly put under the tree, which is a continuing year of, for us, Spotify Premium. Now I've just printed these out on my laser printer. I'm gonna tape them down and just run that through the die cut machine to cut out both the little greeting that has what it is and that Spotify logo. And again, I'm just using some simple dot adhesive to just place that down. Any gift, like continuing service, you could find on the internet and just size it down, punch it out with the two inch punch or the two inch die, and there you go. Front and back with your personalized greeting. I just printed this with on cheap copy paper on my laser printer. It's very, very simple. Now I'm just gonna take a little length of this pretty Gina K gold and white thread and string it through. And that, that's it. That's all you do, tie a knot. And then you could wrap this up and put it in a gift or you could have it hanging on the tree Christmas morning and then just say to the kids, oh, what's this? Oh, right, Santa slash Mrs. Claus has decided to yet again provide you with the gift of music for yet another year. I just think it's a fun project and it's just a simple way to remind them that, well, subscription services, well, they're not free, but they do definitely bring joy. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you back here again with another card or crafty project soon.